Crypto Lights here, we're back with another video guys. We're going to talk about Project 21, which is a play to earn NFT battle game on the Binance Smart Chain, which recently launched. All right, guys, this is available to buy on PancakeSwap and so on. We'll take a look at the chart. This is actually around 5.5 million market cap. So it's pretty low market cap, still considered micro cap, under 100 million. All right, guys, so it is a DGEN play. But um, it's not as bad as like a 100k market cap, for example. It's got a pretty decent liquidity behind it as well. And um, yeah, I mean, the team uh, seems to know what they're doing. There is a lot of moving parts on this project. I will say that I'm going to do my best to show you some of them. All right. Uh, which includes, you know, a little gameplay. Uh, I'm, I think you guys might have seen the, uh, the trailer at the beginning of this video as well, which looks pretty bullish. But um, yeah, I'm not going to be able to show you a demo because I'm just completely a dinosaur of this sort of thing right um you know it reminds me of Krabada uh, where you can you know battle the crabs against each other but it's a different format obviously different uh, but um yeah it's definitely got that sort of feel to it um and you know if you do become good at this game you can earn a lot of money right i know there's a lot of money to be earned in a uh, play to earn gaming and if you believe that uh, gaming blockchain gaming is going to take off in the long term right this could be a good one to take advantage of early prices um as i said we will look at the chart but um in a nutshell like i said it's an nft play to earn game right uh, this is the gaming dap which i will link in the description for you as well so you can come and have a look through here um i'm not i'm not very clued up all right guys but what i do have is a uh, a a bit of gameplay which i found on their twitter all right i do recommend you come and follow their twitter as well 5755 um uh, followers on twitter all right guys but um yeah let's just take a look at this a uh, little bit of gameplay right if i can find it again i've just lost it um it is here somewhere i just saw it where's it gone okay so how to play right so this is uh going to be the how to play uh basically when you click on this video and you know if you if you're like me you're going to need to watch this video to kind of get your head around it right but uh basically if we just skip through uh, what you're going to do is you're going to send your nfts to battle right to battle with other nft players and then you know when you win a battle you actually get uh get rewarded in the tokens the p21 tokens right and you can claim those right into your wallet and spend them freely as you will do whatever you want with them okay and um yeah i mean basically you know you can battle your nfts and win rewards all right guys now in the white paper it does detail what kind of rewards that you can actually win and i do recommend you go through the white paper because it's going to have the backstory it's going to have everything about it right what it's all about and all that sort of thing we don't have time to explain everything in a you know 10 minute video right however we can look at some of the more important in my opinion the more important moving parts right which is how much can you earn right how do you earn and so on so they're going to have a marketplace where you can pick up your nfts and when you buy those nfts and so on you can actually send them to battle like we said okay it explains all the battle and everything here and so i do recommend you read through this there are going to be some fees associated with it right it's a 2.5 percent tax of your winnings okay there are many ways for people to profit from the project 21 ecosystem and the three main ones are owning and trading the nfts using the machines to kill other monsters right to battle you know go to battle trading tokens as well all right guys so you can actually buy the tokens let's just quickly take a look at that while we're on the subject right so the tokens available on pancake swap right the price is 25 cents at the moment sitting at a 5.455 million market cap with 155k just under 156k in liquidity which is pretty decent all right guys this is not a short-term project here to just come and go pump and dump right this is actually a long-term potential project like i say if you believe in gaming blockchain gaming then this we you just never know where this can be in a few years time or even a few months that being said because this is crypto and um you know things can just happen like in an in an instance right gains upon gains if we look at the rewards so just based on the level and the amount of monsters you've got right and the strength of your nft which changes every week, by the way, you're going to be able to earn uh, 
these rewards, right? So at, if we look at the top four levels, you're going to be able to earn up to 1,285 to 2,300, 3,300, all the way up to $15,000, right? If you're actively playing this game and you are building up a nice uh, playing experience, building up a nice like team or, you know, a nice, you know, level should I say, uh, in this game. So up to $15,000. And this changes every week, so I don't know whether that can go higher or lower. But, um, you know, you guys can figure it out. If you're into gaming, you're going to be able to understand this a little bit more than me, uh, myself. You know, this is a sponsored video, all right, guys. But um, the team looks pretty decent to me. The project looks decent. I thought I'd share it with you guys. And, um, you know, you guys can make up your own mind whether this is uh, something for you or not, right? Um, there is risk with everything, Okay, guys, uh, so obviously a little disclaimer here. So a lot of teams actually renounce contracts and things like that. But when you do that, if something goes wrong with the project, you're not going to be able to sort it out or fix it quickly, right? So they have not actually renounced um, the, the, uh, the the contract on this, all right, guys? And they need access to the reward pool to be able to kind of fix anything if it goes wrong or if there's some kind of emergency, they can quickly go in and rectify that, all right, guys? But they are confident that they've got good security, all right, guys? But it's just important to take note of that because um, I remember there was a hack on, for example, Vulcan Forged, PYR, right? And, um, you know, they were able to sort it out and fix things, right? And, uh, yeah, with projects like this, you, there needs to be some accountability, some responsibility. You can't just renounce the contract and just say it's a community project. So that has to be noted because I have heard people asking about other projects saying, why is it not renounced and things like that. Um, real projects don't actually tend to renounce um, uh, the project, in my opinion. Right. And yeah, I mean, that just had to be noted. OK, guys, if we look at some of the tokenomics, right which I did see in here somewhere, tokenomics. Okay, so tokenomics, right? Let's just go here. So there was a pre-sale on Pink Cell for this project. And, um, you know, uh, it's not, I mean, that that's over, right? But if we go to the website, you'll see there's lots of investors here, right? There's a broad range of investors. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to assume it was a pretty decent pre-sale, probably sold out very quickly. And when I look at the size of the community, I would assume that that was the case because the community, if we go to Telegram, 10,028 members. It's not a small community, guys. If we go on Twitter, right, 5,776 members. So a pretty decent community. And that's one of the things I look for in a bullish project, right? A big decent community you want to see active you want to see people engaging and they they've definitely got that uh, by the looks of it on the surface at least right for earning they've got a huge chunk of the supply because at the end of the day like i said this is a play to earn project right so 82.5 percent at the supply and it started with an initial market cap of 126 thousand so now it's up to 5.4 million so uh pretty successful launch up and to the right looking pretty decent had a pull back and looks like it's going sideways now so could be a good entry on this just gotta say on that note this is not financial advice okay don't risk more than what you can afford to lose i am not a financial advisor i'm just got a guy on youtube right talking about a project so obviously do your own research don't risk more than what you can afford to lose all right and um, all the information is here so you know, I can't give it to you all in a video. You're going to have to go and do some of your own research. Okay, guys. So, I mean, play to earn gaming is an up and coming sector. Right now, we're in a bear market. All right. So, we're not seeing as much volume, as much activity right now. But um, I believe that's going to turn around. Uh, we need to take a look at the roadmap. And you know me, I'm all about marketing, right? Marketing is one of the key things that's what i'm most interested in when it comes to these projects especially in this phase right so right now we have phase one marketing kickoff right you know twitter whatever right um community contests and so on uh test net pre-sale we've already gone past that right and release the official game so you can go and play the game now uh, mint your characters marketplace and so on staking and all that sort of stuff i'm not sure if we talked about the rewards okay guys um, let's just go back to the white bit. We did talk about the rewards, right? So I showed this already. We did talk about the rewards. So, um, yeah, up to 15K, guys. 
that's a lot of money to be earning on a uh, on a game, right? People are sitting around playing games for free all day, every day. So uh, if you can earn up to 15k playing a game, or maybe even not even that high level, right? If you can earn like a hundred hundred dollars a day, that's still a decent, you know, that's that's a decent amount of money to be earning on a daily basis. That's seven hundred dollars a week. That's two thousand eight hundred dollars a month uh, just from playing a game. All right, guys, so I think that is definitely something worth taking note on. If you've got the time to do it, remember, when it comes to these things, it does take time. Okay, so if you don't have the time to play it, you're probably not going to earn that money. Right? If you're just going to play for an hour a day or something like that, I mean, you might enjoy yourself, but you're really not going to earn it. All right, this, this, these are like full-time, it's like full-time jobs sometimes, playing these types of games. Or at least that's what I've seen, right? Uh, if this can get any sort of recognition from a gaming guild or something like that, then that could just blow this game to, like, huge heights. I know there's a lot of this stuff. And, um, you know, um, let's say, just say Axie Infinity, for example, right? When these things catch on and gaming guilds start getting involved, I mean, to the moon. Okay, guys, so... Project 21, I'm going to leave all the links in the description. Let me know what you think in the comments, all right? Go and join the community, Telegram, Twitter, and so on. And that being said, it's the end of the video. Subscribe to the channel, tick the little bell for notifications. I'll see you guys in the very next video.